today I'm going to show you a really simple way to do text overlays in iMovie. They'll look something like this. Let's get started. Although iMovie does have titles, as you can see here, you're very limited with what you can do with those titles. You can't really move them around in the frame or anything like that. Here we are on a website called PicMonkey. Click on Design, and it opens up into a blank canvas for you. And on the left-hand side, under Canvas Color, click Transparent Canvas. That'll ensure that there's no background color when we create the text overlay. Click the text icon, click Add Text, and the text field appears. I'm going to go ahead and type my name, select the text field, and you can see on the right-hand side here, there's a text window where you can control certain aspects of the text. And on the left side, you can choose whichever font you like. You can choose from the Pick Monkey fonts under the Ours tab, or you can choose your own fonts under the Yours tab. For now, I'm going to choose Impact. And I'm going to go ahead and make it really, really large. If your text is on top of each other, you can just go ahead and grab the edges of the text field. Once you're happy with the font, the text size, and the color, click on Basic Edits. We're going to go ahead and crop this because we don't need it to be so large. And you can just grab any of the four corners and make it as big or small as you like. And this looks like a great size. Once you're happy with the proportions, click Apply. Then click Save. I'm just going to call this My Name and save it to my computer. And I'm saving it on the desktop just so that it's really easy for me to find. Once you've completed saving it, go back over to iMovie. Click on Import. Find the file that you just created and import it into your project. And here's mine. It's called My Name. Click, hold, and drag it over the portion of the video where you want the text overlay to appear. Select it in the timeline. Above the viewer, click on Cropping. And for style, click Fit. Above the viewer, click on Video Overlay Settings. And in the drop-down menu, select Picture in a Picture. And now you can see the text overlay appears. I can grab any of these four corners and make it as large as I like, and I can move it anywhere I want on my screen. I'm just going to put it right here for now, make it a little bit smaller. If you would like it to appear for a longer period of time in your movie, just select and click the right edge of the image in the timeline and make it a little bit longer. And if you need to make an adjustment, click the image in the timeline, go up above the viewer, click on Video Overlay Settings, and then you can go ahead and move it around or resize it however you want. Are you reaching the right audience with Periscope? And, and you can see that it appears exactly where I want it to appear. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today on how to include a simple text overlay in iMovie. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I post new videos like this every Wednesday to help you with your internet marketing skills. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.